Does Arco have lower prices on quality gas? Are there all kinds of ways to pay? Credit? Debit? Cash? Coconut shells. Just making sure you're paying attention. Come to Arco and say yes to savings. Arco, quality top tier gas for less. Now accepting credit cards. Weekends don't get much better than this. Don't miss any of the pro football action on CBS Los Angeles. Pro football is sponsored locally by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, find new roads. We're starting a movement. Well, technically a don't movement. Because we work hard and want to relax hard. It's the Black Friday Early Savings Event. Save 30% on everything. Lazy Boy, long live the lazy. CBS Los Angeles, your home for Chargers football. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, October 6th. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazz. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Holmes from In for Marcy Gonzalez. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Feels, we made it. We made it. Feels good. All right, so here's some of the stories we're tracking for you this morning. They're uncomfortable, they're in pain, and they're basically sitting in our waiting rooms suffering. Kaiser workers are united at the picket lines as they enter day three of this historic health care strike. We're hearing from patients about how they're seeing the staff and the impacts as well. I was hoping for justice. I know the thousand or so victims that have come forward, they were hoping for justice. And mixed feelings from survivors as the doors on a years-long investigation into former USC gynecologist George Tyndall officially closes. More about his unexpected death ahead. They have to use money for what appropriate. I can't stop that. And President Biden is reversing course on a 2020 campaign pledge in order to address a record number of migrants at U.S.-Mexico borders. Uh, what led to the shift? That's still ahead. Let's take a look at your next weather with Alex Biston joining us now. Good morning. It's Friday. Morning. The weekend is here. The weekend is here and everybody is waking up this morning and wondering, you know, what is it going to feel like in my neighborhood? I'm going to break down the forecast for you uh, as we head into the next minute or so. Looking live this morning over downtown Los Angeles and we are looking at a clear sky. We are seeing weak offshore winds. The good news is I don't have an advisory for you this morning. Temperatures in the mid 60s. It is mild this morning. It will be hot this afternoon. We do have a heat advisory now expanded across Southern California all the way through the Central Coast too. as temperatures will range from low 90s to upper 90s to even low triple digits in some of our valley hot spots as we head into this afternoon. So temperatures today we are feeling mid 90s. Yesterday downtown Los Angeles hit 96 degrees. Very similar as we head into this afternoon. Overnight temperatures in the 60s tomorrow a rinse and repeat as 90s will still be in the forecast. Now, as we head into this weekend, we will feel temperatures in the low 90s across areas like Riverside, the IE. Temperatures will fall as we head into next week, and it will feel more like fall. I will get to all of the details coming up in your extended next weather forecast. Here is Kalina with traffic. Hey, good morning. We do have a fatal crash we're watching this morning. I was looking at this earlier, but we've just learned that someone did die here and we do have lane closures in effect on the 101. This is southbound in Hollywood. So this is right at the Vermont area exit. Cars are being taken off at Vermont, so you will see this really heavy backup here, but I do want to go back out to Chopper so you can see how heavy it is overall. You can see the stop and go delays there as you try to make your way in the south direction. The only good news we have this morning, even though all lanes are blocked off, is that it is so early. You can still take the five freeway as an option. You can take the 110. Both are options for you and we have our rover stuck in traffic here trying to give us a scene of what it looks like. So hopefully they'll get there shortly, but you can see the impacts there. Here's a look at the rest of LA. We do have an issue on the 91. That's also a SIG alert. I will have more on that coming up. Rudabay, back to you. Okay, Kalina, thank you. New details this morning in the mysterious death of a model found dead in her downtown LA high rise apartment. I'm Lauren Posen in downtown L.A. where the family of a model found brutally killed inside of her high-rise apartment says she was expecting at the time of her murder. The coroner's office has now determined that Melissa Mooney died from a violent beating. LAPD is still investigating, but there's been no information about a suspect. Her family is just torn apart over this. They want answers and for the person responsible to be held accountable. 
two men are injured.